Alright, that's pretty cool, huh? Make it green, make it super green, red, can't really see the red that well. Yellow, this is a bloody colour, doesn't it? Look at this, all the colours in the rainbow. Now, you're probably wondering, oh, that's really cool. He's just gotten an LED light or something like that. That's all, you know, remote controllable and really cool. No, it's not cool because it's not that because they're expensive. I don't have a light bar. All I've got is one of those phone controlled light bulbs that you throw in a lamp. And that's great for this kind of ambience, right? It makes your room look pretty cool. I like it anyway, and that's all that matters. But the downside is I can't take a lamp on a shoot. It would be the weirdest thing. You walk in there, you put your, your gear bag down, you've got your camera and all the lenses, you've got your, your gimbal, you've got your tripods, and then a desk lamp. No one's gonna take you seriously, and straight away they're gonna think, holy crap, I've just wasted so much money hiring this idiot who was lighting my scene with a lamp he got from Kmart. So to remedy that, I'm gonna do it's slightly better. Here's the plan. I bought this years ago um, to stick on the back of my monitors to get this exact same effect and then I just bought a light bulb because it, I mean, it wasn't cheaper, it just looked cooler. But effectively, this is a one meter long LED light strip. So the plan is, I've been watching a guy called North Borders, right? And he has an RGB you know, light bar, and there's some cool videos that he did where, you know, you use the light bar, bar just for really cool ambience, for really cool lighting. If you're sort of doing a camera move and someone moves this light bar over the top, it looks really, really cool. Um, he also does some really sick time-lapse stuff with it. So the dude, like, you know, subject will sit still, eight, five second or an eight second exposure, and he'll run past with this light bar, and you get some really sick effects. And I would like to do that, but at the moment, I don't have 400 bucks to throw down on one of these. What I do have is one meter of LED RGB strip and a dream. So here's the play. I am gonna run off the Bunnings. I'm just gonna get a bit of wood. I was gonna maybe PVC, might get some pipe, might get some wood. Not too sure what I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna get something, and then I'm effectively just gonna cable tie this thing to it. Um, and this, uh, this LL RGB strip is USB powered. So, I, hang tight. So, what I've got is a power brick. I bought this on Amazon years ago, but effectively, it should work. It's probably a test that I should have done before I filmed this. Ooh, I think we're on. So uh, USB in, and then theoretically, ba -ba -ba, yes, this is gonna work. I don't know how good it's gonna look. I don't really care. I'm bored. All right, I'm back holding the cat because he keeps trying to eat the RGB light. Anyway, um, so I've just come back from Bunnings and I bought. I opted out of PVC. Only ah uh, ah. Uh, okay, I didn't go with PVC mainly just because it was too round and I didn't want to like bend and damage the circuitry. Of the of the light, so I opted with a flat. Uh, this is 1.2. <laughs> it's 1.2 meters. Just it's a kind of wood. What kind of wood is this? Pine. Fancy boys. Anyway, it's 1.2 meters of pine. Big flat surface to mount this, uh, this RGB thing on. As you can see here, it's it's got a flat back, so it should. Should stick perfectly. Now, I can hear you wonder, Paul, how are you going to attach this? Well, I've actually got a very sophisticated and high-tech method to do so. I have a bunch of cable ties. So I'm gonna cable tie it to a piece of wood. And then probably cable tie the battery to it as well. I said it was cheap, I didn't say it was good. The cat keeps trying to eat it. Oh my god, can you please? I like to make it really short just to maximize damage when you cut your hand on it eventually. Legend, thank you. I mean, it's his, it's his content, I'm vlogging. 
So I'm gonna ride his popularity. Ride his coattails all the way to freedom, maybe. Okay, well as you've seen, it works. Oh, it looks weird, doesn't it? It looks really weird. Let's change it to blue. Kind of works. It works really well. Hang on. Let's see how it works as a background light, shall we? We'll turn my light off. Off. Blue. Now if we crank up the brightness, that's full. not quite as effective, but if we were to have like a background light, or, hang on, here we go, turn this off, hello, oh, yes, that looks sick, obviously you can't get that close, but if you're doing some close up stuff, that would be really cool, that looks awesome, what else we got, this colour, I'm colour blind, by the way, so there you go, that's something new for you. If you haven't, if you're new to the channel, which you probably are, because I never post. Pink, look at me, I'm a beautiful boy. It's a bit temperamental, but like I said, this is budget, not good. <gasps> Luke. <laughs> Holy crap. You know what this reminds me of? This. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with how this went. I think it's be cool for some like close up stuff. Um, I think it would be really cool for like, like I said, like background things. You know, if, if I have this in the background of a shot to break it up, make it look a little bit more dynamic, I think it will look really, really cool. Um, but to be honest, like the price for this, it wasn't that much. The wood was like five bucks. All you need is just like, an RGB LED strip, which I'm pretty sure. Man, let me pull it up how much it cost. It didn't cost a lot at all, I got it from Amazon. Um, 20 bucks. I don't know why I'm doing that, you can't see it. But anyway, 20 bucks for this. Any power bank you want, uh, that's up to you. I'm gonna leave that, that can fluctuate between five bucks to a lot, a lot of money. Uh, and then just like five bucks worth of timber. So effectively, let's say under 50 bucks. Under 50 bucks. You can build yourself a pretty cool little light bar. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this following montage. If you've enjoyed the video, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Um, we could do more DIY stuff, but I don't have that many ideas. But I do want to post a lot more stuff in this channel coming up, as I say in all the videos. Um, but anyway, yeah, if you enjoyed it, like it, subscribe. If not, whatever. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.